So, something else I like to try out all the time, and I haven't had like amazing success, but I've never been like really disappointed, is lemonade. Uh, so, I did make a mistake in uh, one that's in the other room of not straining it first. So there's a giant mess of pulp in the bottom. But, I was thinking ahead, and I'll go ahead and strain all this. So this recipe today will be two white lemonades, one pink lemonade, and two jugs of Simply Limeade. Okay, we're just getting all straight. You want to help Daddy, buddy? Yeah. Not yet. Hey, go help Daddy. Daddy's over there. Go help him. You can see how much pulp is in there. I'm going to avoid that in our fermenter because it's just a mess. All right. All right, come on up. It's going to be difficult holding a baby. Maybe we'll make a huge mess. Maybe. Am I gonna do this? You stand there. There you go. No, that's not gonna work. There we go. Think, right? Oh yeah. Can you say lemonade? No. So that definitely make a mess in your fermenter and it would be all sticky and dried on on the inside and just not good. And the strainer is like two dollars so it's a worthwhile investment. This fermenter I have marked for one gallon and one and a half gallons. The reason being is if I can do one and a half, I can split it in the secondary into either one gallon and one half gallon or three half gallons and add, say, strawberries to one and ra raspberries to another and blueberry to another. So we can really try a lot of different things with the lemonade. So I'll take a gravity, I'll include that. In the video uh, it's just hard to do with this baby and uh, hopefully it's something that will turn out nice <laughs>